source. It's an open source solution designed to help organizations manage, collaborate, and access digital content and knowledge. Just reading it up, as you can see it on the screen as well. Um, all that information is available at, at opencsp.org. So it explains everything. Uh, has some some uh, use cases for you. Just have a look there. Um, so the really nice thing about OpenCSP, it it kind of what it does, it it separates your content from your metadata, and it puts the metadata in slots. So for somebody creating content. It's really easy because they get a visual editor and they just write the content they need to write um, and they fill in using forms um, all the metadata that is needed to identify the content that you're writing. It doesn't really matter what you're writing or what content it is. You can define the content per content type, basically. That's the whole idea behind it. Um, and because we need to have that metadata, to be really structured so that you can always find and link other pages and other content together. Um, the metadata is always filled in using forms and it's so dynamically it's... created. Somebody asked me anything? Oh, sorry. No. Okay. Um, so those forms to create the, for you to fill out the metadata is done dynamically uh, using FlexForm in this case. Now, and to find and kind of link all that information together, uh, we use Wikisearch, Wikisearch um, that gives you so many options to find and link data together um, because the backend is Elasticsearch. So OpenCSP uses Alexis, uh, Alexis, Elasticsearch. Um, so basically, everything can be linked together. You can create lists. You can create overviews. All the information that you have, you can show them and, and to to the users of the website in a way that is needed. Um, there's also an extension called Spaces where you can even create real-time media wiki namespaces. So instead of going to the back end, to the local settings, create a namespace, you don't have to do that. It's all done automatically. Um, just focusing on creating good content and a good knowledge base. Um, on the back, it's media wiki, just plain simple media wiki with semantic media wiki and just a really small set of extensions. Um, and the rest is really templates, Lua functions, all those kind of things. Um, so for 2.04, we have expanded the documentation. Um, it's basically password proof, not what for 139 that is, uh, where the next step is for 143 to be compatible. Uh, there's even less extensions installed. And the extensions that are installed are non-intrusive. So if you take FlexForm, uh, if you want to use page forms, you're fine to do that. They don't you know, conflict in any way. Um, it's the same for the other extensions that are there. Um, the nice thing also is that, and we already added that to OpenCSP in December last year, but basically when you start creating a page type, so what page you want people to start using, like a page for a Q&A or a for documentation. So you you create a page type called, let's say, Q&A, um, and you define some metadata that always needs to be filled in when somebody creates a Q&A page. The, the really nice thing is if you don't just say, okay, I want to create a new Q&A page, you get a, a sidebar with all the um, metadata that needs to be filled in on the side. It all goes automatically. You don't have to build anything. It's It's all done automatically, which is really nice. Um, the install script is also um, changed a little bit, but also has to do with uh, Canasta and some general improvements. Um, going back to what I said about how does that look. So this is a page I just took from our, our own internal website. It's a how-to page. So on the right side, you see um, metadata that you can just click on an edit, edit button and you can just really just simply edit the information there. And on the left side, it just focuses on content. And you're also able to, if there's like a content editor, so somebody that adds, adds Q&A pages, you can even restrict them of filling in all the information, but just the information that is relevant for that person, if you'd like. This is just a, a quick screenshot on, you know, 
what I'm talking about, how, how does that really look? Well, kind of looks like looks like this, but you're always free to change layouts, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, what's also good is that if you want to have a look at what is installed when you open or when you install OpenCSP in regards of modules or templates or any pages, you can actually see there's 83 pages that have been added to the wiki once you install OpenCSP on top of your existing wiki or a completely new wiki, or you use Canasta to boot it up. Um, these pages will be added. You can have a look at them and you can, because it's all open source. So you can do whatever you want and you can even have a look at everything that's installed. And virtually every page has like a um, description of what it does, how it works and how you should use it. So, well, um, Jeffrey already mentioned it. Uh, it does run on Canasta now. Um, and it's really nice that you can, I don't know exactly the details, but Lars, my colleague does, um, but you can just boot up a completely new media wiki using Canasta and OpenCSP on, Open on top of that. Um, but it's also possible to update an existing media wiki that runs on Canasta. I'm talking about Canasta currently. Um, and then install OpenSea on top of it. So you have an existing media wiki website with a lot of pages, and you can still upgrade to OpenCSP using Canasta and using the same database and just tweak uh, and, and you know convert to OpenCSP if, if, if you'd like. So yeah, so that's um, that's a very nice new feature. I'm very, it took a while and I'm really glad that uh, that we were at this point. Uh, and also what, what Cindy mentioned, um, we can actually take uh, Wiki API areas, um, um, you know, to start working on Wiki API area. Also because the background functionality for OpenC should be able to add more uh, features to Wiki API area. Um, finally, uh, have a look at OpenCSP.org. It's, um, it's a community thing. We want it to be a community thing. And, and we noticed that more and more, I get more and more questions about people that are actually installing it and, and perhaps have some difficulty. So we're really um, looking forward to have uh, a lot of people having a look at it, um, try it out, especially now with Canasta, you can uh, just boot it up quickly and uh, play around with it. Um, are planning on doing some extra videos on how to use it, but that's all for the future. Um, so yeah, that's for me is my presentation for OpenCSP and the current status of it. If there's any questions, then uh, feel free. Thank you. Any questions? No questions means that the presentation was really well done. Uh, th there is one. Oh. <laughs> Are you able to hear me? I, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if we wanted to look at the Docker image that extends Canasta, where is the source of that? I tried to find it in the GitHub for OpenCSP. I was fascinated <laughs> to see how you build on top of Canasta, but I wasn't able to, to find the secrets. I think, I'm not sure, I'll post a link, um, um, I'll give a link to in Elements, but, but from what I understand from Lars is that it has been um, added to a branch of Canasta itself. Uh, but as as we, I think we I finished. Think so that's not exactly how it is. Um, I will send the link, um, but just an FYI, it is kind of still in progress, it's a little in development. Uh, it is a it's a fork of a repo that I made two years ago at the SMWCon. I'll send it to you. Yeah, perfect. Because we I think we finished running OpenSea on Canasta I think two weeks ago. So now it's time to you know get the do documentation done and all those kind of things. That's not happened yet. So uh, so yes, um, so it should be on OpenCSP.org uh, when we have all the details. And thanks, Jeffrey, for jumping in. Hi. Thank you for introducing that nice meeting forum, data inputs forum, which appears on the right. My question is, uh, after saving the page, 
is the form generated content will appear aside of the code or is it, is it stored somewhere else? Okay, I couldn't really hear you well. Bernard, can you perhaps repeat the question? Yes, uh, the, the question was uh, on the form, the, the right parts, does it store the data on the page itself or somewhere else? So what, what OpenCSP does, it, it uses the MCR slots, so the multi-content revision slots that MediaWiki offers for a page. Um, I now have two, the, the screenshot you see here on the right is the form, on the left is just, uh, the main content, web, which has Visual Editor. Um, if you only edit the main content, then only the main content will be saved to the main content slot. Um, if you would be editing the sidebar, then only the information in the sidebar will be written for that page to that specific slot. So basically, yes, all the information is stored in the page, but in different slots. So if you would go to um, edit source, you would still only see the uh, the main content um, which you see here as well, not the metadata. You will not see that. That's only editable through the forms. Thank you. Okay. Any more questions? No. Then we have one more presenter for the break. Thank you, Charlie. Mm -hmm.